Even in this world, if you'd like to achieve things, material items, like I said moments ago, you cannot sit unemployed and continue to beg. When the Prophet ﷺ was faced with a man who said, I don't have anything, I don't have anything in my house, absolutely nothing. He had a small commodity. The Prophet ﷺ says, bring it. And he sold it for two dirhams. And at the same time, he bought his food with one and with the other one, the Prophet ﷺ said, buy an axe. He bought an axe. And the Prophet ﷺ says right now, go and work with it and come back. Let's see what you bring forth. He came back in the evening with two dirhams. Then the Prophet ﷺ made a dua for him and told him, go away for 15 days and come back. Go and work hard with this axe. You don't need a qualification to work with an axe. You don't say, I don't know how to use the axe. I don't have a PhD. No. You know, everyone knows the axe. You, you get used to it over time. He came back 15 days later with 30 dirhams. Wow, he now had money. But there was a time when he was begging, he was asking. And the Prophet ﷺ says, Wallahi, it is better for you. It is better for you to work hard and earn money through your perspiration than to ask, than to seek. Don't go and ask. Allah, you are healthy. May Allah protect us. Take a look at Abdurrahman ibn Awf radiallahu an. He came to Medina Munawwara at the time of the Hijrah. He was a wealthy man in Mecca. He lost everything and he came with nothing. And he was told, okay, you know what? I will give you my half of my wealth. And I will give you so and so. And I will help you with this much and that much. He says, may Allah grant you barakah. Just show me where is the marketplace. Look at this, he's doing something about it. He was aiming very high. Not only in the deen, but even in this worldly life. He went out to the marketplace and his deal was successful. Few days later, he got married. Subhanallah. 